Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here. Hope you're well. Now, on our page here, for well, this week, we are going to be working in the year, the part seven, which is media, images, and collaboration. In this project today, we are going to work as an entire year group. So, in order to do this, what we're going to do is just go into this and in there will be a link to our artwork. Now, our artwork will look a little bit like this. So the rainforest collage, you will have what's called a OneNote and a OneNote can be a web page or it can be an application. You can download it for free called Microsoft OneNote and you can sign in with your account. It's very easy to do. But in this page, what I'm able to show you is that we can all add an image that we have cut out and arrange it as we've been shown in the previous lessons. If I bring myself over to the other side, I can show you how this looks in this page. So the, the image is quite big and there are lots of areas for your animals and insects to be. So you can resize them, you can zoom in and out of here. So th th there's lots and lots of space for you to work in here. Um, and so how we get our images in here is pretty much the same way as with the tools and all the previous lessons that we've been working with. So here at the bottom, I've got a frog. And this frog is the one that I've been using for the lessons where we've used the golden ratios and stuff like that. This frog has been cut out using the lasso tool. And you could use a spider. So I've got a spider in Photopea here. If I bring this, my window down here, I've got a spider here in Photopea. So some of you will have been using Photopea. I've used the magic wand to cut my spider out. And then you will have exported this as a PNG. So those of you who've been using Photopea will have exported this as a PNG. And the reason you, you export it as a PNG is because one, you need to upload that file to Google Classroom. And two, it gives it a see-through background. So this sort of checkerboard background means there aren't any pixels there. So when you export it as a PNG and you're going to save it on your computer, you're then able to go and uh, put that into Google Classroom. The other thing that, that you're able to do is that if if we are using uh, paint.net, you will have been doing the same thing. So you've been using the same tools in paint.net and you've been using these tools here and you'll have been using the magic wand. So here's the magic wand. It looks slightly different to uh, Photopea, but they tend to do the same job. And again, you'll have that see-through background and that's PNG. So in here, you go and save as instead of exporting. When you go and save as, you go and choose whether you want this as a PNG or not. And that's in the save uh, video file, uh, save video and export uh, files. I move this over because I think my face is in the way. You'll have had the PNG like this, and then you can go and save it as a PNG and upload that to your Google Classroom. And when you go and save this, so let's go and do this right now. So I'm going to call this uh, Spider Tarantula, 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 like that. Yes, I want to save that as it is. Good. So it's going to put that away in another window. And here we are in the collaborative OneNote for this session. 
I've done the things that we'll have done before anyway in all the lessons up to now just by showing you that quick uh, save function. So here I'm going to go and put my frog that someone else has gone and put over there. I'm signed in as Mr. Mal as Mr. Glenn. And you'll be signed in as you because it will ask you to sign in. And then what I do is I will go to insert. Let's go to insert and I go to pictures because that's what I want. I'm going to go and insert a picture and from a file because the file is on your computer. And that'll be the same on an iPad and it'll be the same on um, your computer, Mac, PC, whatever. However, um, it looks slightly different here because I'm on the app. Um, it doesn't matter if you are in, it doesn't matter if you are on the web. I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the web. So this is the web. I can pull this out and pull this down. But as you can see, this is uh, my browser. And you can see that when I've moved the frog over here, it's done exactly the same thing. So in here, go to insert picture. Um, but I'm signed in at the moment. I need to go make sure that's sorted. Insert picture from file. And it's the same job, whether you're on the internet, the web, whatever. It's going to move that back up into here and move that nicely, neatly over here. Let me drop that in. There we are. Good. So pictures from a file. I'm going to go to my photo peer page. Go to year five. I think I saved it in paint.net to save it a spider tarantula. Let's go and find these the spider and tarantula. So you can see there's two spider tarantulas in here because I've saved them as the same as the same name. One's a JPEG. If I hold my mouse over there, you can see it says JPG. That's not what you want because that's got a white background. The one here has got a see-through background. This is a PNG. I'm going to go and open this up. Zoom out a bit. And there's my uh, tarantula. So I can go and put this on the leaf here. I can move it a little bit down, move it a little bit smaller. And put this over here like so. Done. So we can all see you going and putting our artwork in there. So your compositions, you can go and put as you can as you've got parrots tarantulas to peers if you've got uh the caiman that's on our pages too you can put the caiman um into the water you can put things in the waterfall you can put things hanging from the trees if you've got images that are your own you can go put those in too but they need to be arranged nicely they need to be arranged with care okay and then eventually we'll have the whole the whole collage that I've made here filled with our own creations. Why are we doing this is a good question. Underneath is a, another tab that is about graffiti digital collage. And so we are going to create our own tags and put them into this collage that's just populating right now with another image is a very similar uh, collage that I've made. And that is going to be in here so I can zoom out you can see that we are going to create as a year group some graffiti and some tags into this image as well but in here we're gonna have a go at that this week make sure that we know what we're doing make sure that I can see and Mr Max can see that you can export as a PNG you can cut things out properly and you can use your images again in another application which is here in OneNote all right year five Looking forward to seeing uh, your creations on the uh, page here. As always, good luck.